What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to talk about some things 2K does need to fix in this game. And yeah, before we get into the video, please make sure to drop that like, sub if you are new, follow the Twitter down below. And yeah, before we do get into the video, we are going to run this ad. And then, yeah, man, um, there's a. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit sportstmb.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. A lot to talk about in this video and make sure, let's get uh, at least 120 likes because bro, this video, honestly, 2K needs to see it, bro. Like honestly, they need to help out our community. Let's get 120 likes for some NT giveaways for you guys. So yeah, we got a lot to talk about today. And honestly, bro, I got a lot to talk about. So we're going to go over things that they need to fix. And I know they need to fix the whole game. There's a lot to talk about. So without further ado, let's get into it. So honestly, I'm going to go over everything because there's so much to talk about. And it actually drives me nuts playing this game. To be honest, in my opinion, I cannot play online. Um, Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I've never gone 12 and all, but there's reasons why. Every time I get close to going 12 and 0, some garbage happens. Like for instance, I have lagged out every single time I have been, like I have gotten error codes at least 10 times when I'm undefeated. I've gotten an error code at 11 and 0, I've gotten error codes at 5 and 0, 6 and 0, 2 and 0, 3 and 0, whatever. I don't know what it is. It's not my connection because if you test it, my download speed, my everything speed is absolutely amazing because I have the top Wi-Fi package of files and Google Wi-Fi. I have the best internet possibly you could buy. So with that being said, I get so many error codes. I don't know if it's Xbox. That's why I cannot play 12 and 0. I literally refuse trying to go 12 and 0. First off, not only that, if you play 12 and 0 squads with your Opal squad, kids with Amy Lance Stevenson and Diamond Mikhail Bridges and Diamond this, Sapphire this, can compete with your Opals. So in this video, I'm also going to tell you guys, if you have like 500,000 MT and you just want to buy your first Opal, I'm going to recommend just don't buy your first Opal. It is so not worth buying an Opal. Buy a stack squad with Ami Lance, like literally a ton of Amis with stack badges. Like literally this whole collection right here, these cards, P. Maravich, Fox, and Kukoc, they are absolutely disgusting. So if you really think about it, these cards are like 30k this deer and fox i'm about to compare them to Giannis, and you're gonna be like what it's crazy how these cards are so dirt cheap and comparing to high pink diamonds and pricey opals it's not worth it so all this say bro opal curry is a perfect example he's not worth buying for 300 000 mt yeah it's the name this card right here is literally the same card first off he has about the same exact badges as Giannis. So like, what? So pretty much, bro, this card's filthy. He's going to be around probably 40-something K. And man, um, I don't know, man. This is all. This is what I have to think. They got to fix overalls. Like, they cannot be dropping 99 Opals with these stats this early. Considering the fact, bro, if you think about it, with Diamonds having like 99 stats, it really makes no sense for you to get an Opal. That's all I'm going to say. So like... People who say you need to play to play, pay to play the game, you really don't. Like, I have gotten beat by a ton of budget squads that are, like, kids that are good at the game. If you're good at the game and you have McCall Bridges and you have, I mean, Miles Bridges. I don't know why he's saying McCall. If you have Big Z for 20, 30K, uh, Miles Bridges, Tony Kukoc, all these cheap diamonds, Paul Pierce, bro, all these new cheap diamonds can take out old teams easy. So, like, in my opinion... Like, if you have one of the best squads in the game and you're decent and you versus a good kid with, like, a low Amethyst team with, like, Ruby Jeff Green, you're going to lose. Like, that's the only reason why. Like, I feel like the only time you can't lose is if you have an Opal squad, like, a full Opal squad with all 99s and you're versus, like, Rubies or Sapphires. But in case that doesn't happen, 
if you have amethyst and diamonds you're gonna match up with opals and those amethyst and diamonds are gonna play very similar to opals so that's one thing i don't like about this game like yeah i get it if you're good it helps but if you have a, an amethyst and diamond team you should be matching up with kids in your amethyst and diamond you shouldn't be versing opals that's what i'm thinking like because kids with the opal do get the advantage but then kids who aren't as good as at the game like the whole matchmaking thing is honestly in my opinion just destroyed like their matchmaking their way of basing matchmaking has nothing to do with skill it literally is only overall and not only that like based off what you are like four and all you'll versus a good kid or like eight no i don't know how it is but like their their way of matchmaking is just embarrassing not only that if you have a sick squad, you drop $2,000 on the game, you have one of the best squads in the game, you can only play 12 and 0. So, like, in my opinion, you can't even really enjoy the game. Like, there's no tournaments, there's no, like, if you go 2 and 0, you get this. Like, first off, if you go freaking 10 and 0, you get a freaking pack and 15 tokens. This is the most bogus reward. Like, they have to fix the whole game. Like, realistically, if I go 12 and 0, I get Larry Bird Diamond, who's not usable. Okay, yeah, and I get Worthy. Okay, cool. The chance of you going 12 and 0 without getting an error code is very low. I got an error code at 6 and 0 this week, and I was fumed. I, I hit up 2K support. They did nothing. They said they would fix it. Look at the status. Nothing. So they're not going to fix it. So I restarted the game, and I just restarted. Like, I'm 0 and 0 now. What is the point? Of 2k support honestly the only time they fix anything is if you're 11 and 0 if you're 6 and 0 they can't do anything about it i've literally came to the conclusion i've hit them up millions of times i get nothing not only that the whole freaking process is so complicated so for me to play to go 12 and 0 i need to not get an error code i'm gonna get an error code i've gotten one every single time and it literally boils my blood so in my opinion 12 and 0 gotta go their, their servers are not good enough to, to have 12 and 0 I know so many of my subs have been losing because of that as well. Not only that, bro. <sighs> Another problem I've been seeing. Um, the packs they have been dropping are so freaking money hungry. Like, literally, the only thing I could say is if you really buy these packs, you gotta be like crazy. These packs are so doo-doo. If you really think about these packs, if you do not pull the top card in the packs, you get nothing. So if you spend 135,000 MT, which is how much? You get $50 for 200,000 MT. You get, okay, you get 20 packs. That's cool. You don't pull Kareem. You drop $50. The most you'll pull is 100,000 MT. If you don't pull Kareem, that's the most. Like these packs are so worthless. They got to fix that. They have nothing to grind on single player at all. Nothing. What is their domination? This shit is so outdated um that's outdated the challenges bro these spotlight challenges are outdated like what's going on man i just don't understand they're just pouring out content taking our money all on triple threat garbage single player triple threat garbage like what is there to do in this game honestly seriously what in what do you guys think i want to know down below what is there to do in this game i actually really want to know is there anything you could do besides 12 and 0 with your stacked opal squad that you dropped two grand on the game with you know what i'm saying like i'm about to sell my whole team because honestly you already know once the market crashes man it's over like i'm selling bird i'm selling mj only people i'm gonna keep i'm ki i'm selling colonel Lenko, bro i'm selling everyone besides the prime players because honestly holding on to these cards is literally the biggest waste of my time because next week these cards are going to be outdated by diamonds. Like, that's what I'm saying. Um, that's pretty much all I could say. Why is LeBron 198K? That's crazy. Why did he drop so much? I don't know what's going on. But for him to be that cheap, I guess Pete Maravich really destroyed his, his price. But, yo, right now, guys, what do you think? Like, I literally just want to know. Is P. Maravich 6'5 point guard? That's pretty interesting. Did he really drive down LeBron's price that much? I don't know, but we're about to see. But yeah, like right now, man, I'm kind of just pissed off at the game. Nothing for me to really do other than complain. There's nothing for me to do on the online. Nothing for me to do really at all. So I really want to hear you guys' opinion, what they could add and make it better. Like Triple Threat Online also was better last year. It looks like they're just pouring out content to somehow make us happy. But it's not even content. It's just taking our money. 
But yeah, that's really all I got. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Just speaking my mind, trying to get you guys to like listen. Like, I don't know. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Peace.